hi students in this session i am going to discuss name of coordination compounds containing bridging ligands in previous video previous videos coordination chemistry i had explained werner's theory next vb theory and some important topics uh, like uh, Uh, naming of coordination compounds some important topics i have discussed in the playlist also i have kept coordination chemistry so along with those videos i am giving one more most important confused bridging ligands namings okay so name of coordination compounds containing bridging ligands we have some rules already had explained many rules normal uh, naming time now bridging time little changes is there that we will discuss and i am going to discuss with you four examples students four different frequently asking questions in je and neat now see here first i have given charges what we are using ligands here oh ligand i am using this is neutral water is neutral ligand here also water water is neutral ligand and oh is this is a bridging ligand this nickel and cobalt nickel nickel central atom cobalt central atom bridging one ligand that ligand what is this oh oh what we call it as students so in previous video i had discussed hydroxido or hydroxo like that we are calling so this is what is the charge minus 1 here i am using here also i have taken example oh but slight difference there here to here and next oh minus charge and i am using ligands nh2 nh2 also minus 1 charge nh2 also minus 1 charge and no2 also minus 1 charge chlorine also minus 1 charge these four ligands we are using here that's why i had given here charges please while calculating oxidation state compulsory we know oxidation states and charges then only it is easy now first one first how to write what is the shortcut we are using see students this is take it as a part this is first part left hand side part we take it as a part left hand side part we can take it as a part and right hand side part you can take it as b part so first write a part first write a part and then bridge this metal to this metal one bridge is there that you have to write the bridge one bridge one we are writing nu nu that name of ligand and afterwards again name of b name of b so name of a how you will write the first ligand we are writing next metal and here also first ligand we are writing metal see name after writing the name you will understand more better students this is what first a part i have to write a part first i have to write ligand right tetra aqua tetra aqua nickel tetra aqua nickel what is oxidation state we will calculate nickel next what is the students here bridge bridge is there bridge means we have to connect new new next what is the ligand name what is the ligand name hydroxido 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 next one this is what b part b part also again first we have to write ligand tetra tetra aqua tetra aqua next what is this cobalt right cobalt cobalt again oxidation state we have to calculate but outside chlorine you no need to write trichloride because of this chlorine only we will get oxidation state of metal atoms that's why you can write directly chloride okay so now calculate oxidation state how to calculate oxidation state oh is minus 1 charge this is neutral ligand this is neutral right this is also neutral water also neutral next what is the charge students here this is minus 3 this is plus 3 then calculate calculate so this is so take it as uh, 2x and finally we'll calculate here you will get oxidation state is 4 here you will get oxidation state equal to 4 how to calculate oxidation state previous video had explained so based on this you will try to calculate i had given charges here you know here minus 3 means this is plus 3 equal to the charge finally you will get oxidation state here <coughs> 4 plus 4 but two metals we are taking no two metals we have to distribute two metals we have to distribute uh, one is plus 2 another one also plus 2 but we have to write with roman numbers nickel 2 and this is also cobalt 2 that's it students first 
I am repeating once again. What is this? First we have to write A part and then bridge we connect with the bridge, bridge and then B part. And writing A part time, first we have to write ligands. First we have to write ligands. How many ligands? Four ligands. Then we call it as tetra. And what is the ligand name? Aqua. Tetra, aqua, nickel. And what is this? Bridge. Bridge. New hydroxido. New letter we have to introduce for bridging. New hydroxido. And next to this B part. B part also ligand first. Tetra, aqua, cobalt to chloride. So why here nickel to cobalt to? Just know we, I said explanation of oxidation state. This is minus 1. This is plus 3. Equate to the charge. We will, we will come to the oxidation states. Calculate. Okay. It's clear. Now next one. Slight difference is there. Here different ligands I have taken. Different ligands. Different oh, H2O, H2O. Here same ligands. Here also H2O, H2O is same ligand. But metal is same. Metal is same. Here nickel, here cobalt. But here both are nickel. That time what we have to write? How we have to write? See. Students, here directly you can write the bridge. New bridge ligand. What is the ligand? Hydroxido. Then you can call it as two times repeating means what I said. Bis. Tris tetra is like this previous video I had explained. So you can write this and afterwards A part and afterwards B part. See, after writing name, we will understand more better. So what is this? New. Why I am writing new first? First I am writing why bridge students here. Ligand. Here water, water, same ligands. And metal also same. Central metal atom also same. That's why you can write directly. New hydroxido new hydroxido next what you will write bis bis tetra aqua tetra aqua nickel tetra aqua nickel nickel what is oxidation state we will calculate nickel close the bracket and next one what is this outside chloride that's it we have to write don't forget to write this one okay no need to write trichloride no need to write tri trichloride so chloride because of this chloride only we will get oxidation state of nickel no? what is oxidation state students again this is neutral ligand this is neutral ligand this is also neutral ligand easy here calculation this is minus 3 minus 3 means this is plus 3 and here what happened this is minus 1 here also again you will get plus 4 oxidation state Nickel, you will get plus 4 oxidation state, 2 nickels. But each nickel is plus 2 oxidation state. Okay, so write down here. What is the oxidation state, students? Here, okay. This is what neutral I get. This is minus 1, this is neutral ligand equal to the charge plus 3. So finally we will get here directly plus 2 oxidation state. You can write what is the oxidation state we will get here plus 2 oxidation state. So why I had explained, how I had explained, this is minus 1, take it as 2 nickels. So equal to the charge, finally we will get each one plus 2 oxidation state. Now next one, third example. Third example, third example. So here what I am explaining here, at the NH3, NH3, NH3 and this is NH2, this is OH, this is NH3, this is Cl2, this is Cl2, this is Cl2. Here sulphate outside, sulphate outside. Yes, students, see this example NH3 4 times CO, NH2, OH, CO, NH3 by Cl2, sulfate ion outside. See here NH3, um, amine, here also amine, here also amine. Here how many times? 4 times. Here 2 times. Okay, here, two diff here amine ligand I have given, here hydroxido I have given different. So for this naming, how to write? See, I am writing. First we have to write again A part, write or not same like first example, 
first we have to write a part a part and then we have to write bridge but here two bridges no two bridges we have to write new bridge bridge like and again new bridge like and then we can write b part then we can write b part while writing a part what we have to take it first students tell me like and tetra i mean two m two times m will come otherwise it will be wrong tetra i mean tetra i mean cobalt cobalt so what is the oxidation state we will write cobalt next new tell me students what is this amido amido okay this is acts as a ligand we call it as amido next one what is this this one hydroxido new hydroxido hydroxido next one b part we have to write b part b part writing type what we observed one more point what we observed uh, two type of ligands is there one is amine ligand one is chlorine chlorine chloride but who will come first according to alphabetical order i am writing actually we have to continue here students we have to continue here i am writing what is this hydroxido next to ligand what is amine will come first or chlorine definitely amine thai amine next di amine di chlorido di chlorido next one what is this cobalt cobalt oxidation state leave it what is this outside one sulfate previous cases it is chloride here it is sulfate now how to calculate oxidation state this is sulfate minus 2 minus 2 means this is plus 2 right next uh, this is neutral ligand no no issue neutral ligand even this one also neutral ligand and next one here nh2 i am given starting this is minus 1 charge minus 1 charge if you go for calculation so then what you will get oxidation here 2 this is minus 1 oxidation state 2 into minus 1 this is minus 1 this is minus 1 equal to the charge you will get plus 6 right or not plus 6 but two metals are there no by two so each one you will get oxidation state is plus 3 each one you will get oxidation state is 3 plus 3 Four into zero plus CO plus one into minus one plus one into minus one plus cobalt plus two into zero plus two into minus one equal to the charge. Okay, among cases also you can take the same thing, students. What is this? Four into zero plus cobalt. We don't know cobalt. 1 into this is what minus 1 and this is also 1 into minus 1 plus cobalt and NH3 neutral ligand 2 into 0 chlorine chloride so 2 into minus 1 equal to the charge then this is 0 cobalt minus 1 this is cobalt minus 1 plus minus 1 again cobalt this is what students minus 2 that is equal to the charge plus 2 equal to the charge plus 2 so finally here 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 1 6 cobalt totally two cobalts will get your plus 6 oxidation state okay two cobalts we are getting your plus 6 oxidation state each cobalt equal to plus 3 we are writing with roman number we are writing with roman number that's it so tetra i mean cobalt this is what students three oxidation state here also three oxidation states clear seems to be biggest name but it is very easy if you have command in the logic points if you have command in the rules okay it's easy next last example in today session what is that fourth example nh3 nh3 four times co nh3 four times co and this is nh2 and this is no and this is co and this is what nh3 four times nh3 four times this is you can write outside no3 twice no3 twice that's all now can you write the name students see here cobalt here cobalt central atom is same so like second example oh, central atom is same and the ligands also same then what we will write first to like a bridging bridging we are writing right second example like new amido 
new abido there we have taken one bridging ligand here we are taking two bridging ligands that's it new amido next new what is this guy name new nitrito nitrito new nitrito next what we call it as two times repeated no that's why we call it as bis bis next what is this ligand name tetra tetra amine tetra amine cobalt tetra amine cobalt next to tell me what is oxidation state we will calculate oxidation state cobalt to what is cobalt to nitrate outside what is this first one we have taken chloride next one we have taken sulfate here nitrate that's it we will write oxidation state and nitrate you can write now calculate oxidation state so can you calculate oxidation state students try to calculate oxidation state here what is this minus one charge here what is this minus one charge this is what students neutral ligand this is neutral ligand next one here also neutral ligand right this is also neutral ligand next what is no3 minus no3 charge nitrate this is minus one charge this is plus one charge here minus one here minus one here plus one so finally what you will get here so two oxidation state is that to roman number we are writing that's it okay see how easy this is first time listening time it is little tricky but once you understand the main rules and logics easy see big biggest names but it is very easy and next one more point i am telling who is having minimum 50% knowledge in the nomenclature after seeing the options definitely will get some idea don't leave such type of questions okay see first one i first you have to take the charges students after that each and one bridge had given here uh, one bridge only but ligands and central metal atom is same different different examples had given to cover the rules to cover more questions and next to two bridging ligands two bridging ligands two different like two different metal atoms we have taken two same atoms also have taken so here how to write name understood no first a part we have to write b part we have to write first a part of li writing ligands then metal atom then bridging bridging you have to connect new you have to connect hydroxido and this is what tetra i mean again b part also first ligand we are writing cobalt and what is the oxidation state if you know the charges here easily you can calculate oxidation state if you have some if you have some confusion oxidation state calculation previous video i had explained oxidation state how to calculate go through that then come back here okay next second example second example also easy first a part b part uh we are not writing a part b part here why because here central metal atom here central metal atom is same ligands also same then directly you can connect the bridge bridge and the tetra aqua nickel so then chloride oxidation state how to calculate already i gave idea now next one what is this this is two bridges here two ligands bridges different here different here different and here different ligand here a different uh, central atom here also what is this nh3 four times here also nh3 four times here same here same this is different nh2 is different oh is different how to write the name first one a part we are writing then bridging then b part we are writing that's it next one last example what is the last example this is last example last example see no this is nh3 four times here also nh3 four times so here ligands all are same but above case you can see above case central metal atom is same there is no doubt central metal atom is same there is no doubt here ligands is same here ligands is same but see here four ligands is same type here out of four ligands two is one type two is another type that's why we are writing first a part then bridging then b part where ligands we are writing like that but here down one here see here see all ligands are same type here all ligands are same type here central metal atom is same central metal atom is same here same ligands here also same number of ligands then you can write first bridging you can start directly bridging then you can talk it take it as you can talk like this bis tris tetra this like this okay bis you can write the name that's it students so i think it is easy for you please practice 
take pen and paper and practice and comment me please like subscribe our channel so coming days i am going to do best and best shortcut videos thank you students thanks for watching